ladies and gentlemen, the pick is in. The long-awaited choice for vice president by one Donald J. Trump just dropped about um, 40 minutes ago. And the pick is J.D. Vance of Ohio. Now, it's interesting because J.D., back in 2016, eight years ago, um, was not on the Trump train, needless to say. He had some not-so-nice things to say about him. However, eight years is a long time. Eight years is a long time to um, get to know somebody. And actually get along and like that somebody. So here's the statement put out on Truth Social. After lengthy deliberation and thought, and considering the tremendous talents of many others, I've decided that the person best suited to assume the position of Vice President of the United States is Senator J.D. Vance of the great state of Ohio. J.D. honorably served our country in the Marine Corps, graduated from Ohio State University in two years, super cum laude, and is a Yale Law School graduate where he was editor of the Yale Law Journal and president of the Yale Law Veterans Association. J.D.'s book, Hillbilly Elegy, became a major bestseller and movie as it championed the hardworking men and women of our country. J.D. has had very successful business career in technology and finance, and now during the campaign will be strongly focused on the people he fought so brilliantly for, the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and far beyond. As Vice President, J.D. will continue to fight for our Constitution, stand with our troops, and will do everything he can to help me make America great again. Congratulations to Senator J.D. Vance, his wife, Usha, who also graduated from Yale Law School, and their three beautiful children, MAGA 2024. Now, needless to say, some people are a little bummed, uh, like this first comment here on Truth. This is the worst decision ever. Horrible. I hate this election. This is not good. Um, bum, but not my decision. You passed over a great man, Ben Carson, who never skipped a beat with his loyalty. Um, please, President Trump, I don't think he has your best interest at heart. Byron Donalds. This is the video with J.D. Vance saying some things about being a never Trump guy. Very poor decision. He's a snake, not as much as Vivek, but a snake nonetheless. As much as I love you, Trump, you're the absolute worst at picking the people who surround you. That will be your downfall. Um, first disappointing action I've seen you make. This definitely won't bring any excitement to the ticket. So people over on uh, True Social, needless to say, they're not happy. Now, as for myself, I think he probably could have gone in a different direction. Um, one person that really intrigued me, even though I don't agree with a lot of what she says, but I do agree with a lot of what she says, is Tulsi Gabbard. Um, especially since she's left the Democrat Party. Um... Another one I probably would have gone after, and no, not Glenn Youngkin. Um, no, not Vivek, but possibly Ben Carson would have been a second choice for me. But we'll see. JD, I think, is a, is a safe pick. I think he's going to draw uh, people in from the Rust Belt, which is... By all accounts, what, what's going to be needed to get over the top to win the election in 2024? You're going to need Pennsylvania. You're going to need Michigan. You're going to need Wisconsin. Um, unless something happens, unless Georgia turns around and Arizona turns around. So tell me what you think, guys. JD Vance, comment down below. Share your thoughts. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.